No matter what weird language Biden prefers, today is still Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Even though the leftists are trying to change what it means to be a mother, what it means to be female, we gonna continue using the English language as it was intended. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my merch store where I have Let's Go Brandon t-shirts. I have a Not Comply t-shirts. And there's also a link to my mental health coaching and consultation page. Whereas if you're suffering from any type of mental health issues, you're looking for some help, um, I can teach you how to manage those issues and um, teach you coping skills and, and um, how to handle those, those, um, those issues. So, all right, let's, let's talk about this news. The word mother is being erased by the federal government in accordance with an executive order that President Biden signed on his first day in office in January 20, 2021, along with other sex words like father, brother, husband, wife, daughter, son. The edict, quote, preventing and combating discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> that's the title is leading to the elimination of tra traditional terminology. And that's what leftists are doing. They want to kill everything that's traditional. Everything. The, the mother, the father, language as a whole. But the, the um, proliferating bastardization of the language would be laughable if it weren't so insulting. They got words like uh, birthing parents, childbearing people, gestational carriers, bodies with vaginas, menstruators, postnatal people, people with a uterus. I mean, this is utterly ridiculous, utterly I mean, I mean, I I don't I don't really have the words to put to put into what how crazy and nonsensical this this stuff is. But the Ministry of Truth, aka the new disinformational disinformation governance board that has been created under the Department of Homeland Security, no doubt will be helping us all get used to the new usage as george orwell observed quote if thought corrupts language language can also corrupt thought and edinburgh napier university in scotland i'm sorry at edinburgh napier uh, university in scotland the wokerati have started instructing students on the care and treatment of of uh pregnant males and future midwives are being trained to be able to catheterize a penis during labor yes <laughs> this is not a joke this is this is real life i'm not a biologist but i did pay su sufficient attention in high school to know that a uterus and cervix are required equipment for giving birth i also understand by bi uh, biology sufficiently to know that it's not possible for any mammal to change sex sex is not just the obvious uh not uh, just obvious features such as genitalia sex is embodied in every cell of the body and plays a part in every aspect of health and wellness sex is determined at conception and remains static until death the advocates of so-called inclusive language claim that their goal is to be kind to everyone the object of avoiding the word mother is to be sensitive to those who are biologically female but do not wish to be referred to with sex specific terminology. One on one, this can be accommodated. But when messages attend, intended for everyone are modified to avoid basic words like mother, what happens to everyone else? The goal of communication cannot be to eliminate all possi um, possibility of offense. Trying to include everyone with every broad term can lead to ambiguity and even alienation. Phaseology such as bodies with vaginas and people with uterus offensively reduce mothers to a series of body parts consider the woman who adopts a baby and struggles um heroically to breastfeed uh she is not a birthing parent yet she deserves to be respected as a mother in all other ways if the goal is to be kind to everyone then it is essential to use language that anyone can readily understand all they're doing is just creating confusion 
and with with this crazy language and you have to you probably have to find some type of dictionary to understand or how to speak to these crazy leftists today and i refuse to do it i will not comply to these crazy demands but let me know what you think leave your comments down below like share and subscribe and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news until next time peace